What up, YouTube? Here's part two of the recent acquisitions. <coughs> Cena, Rollins now starting up what would usually be the 9 o'clock hour here in the central time zone. But it's the 8 o'clock, so it's four hours long. Um... I don't know. Um, first we'll start with the DVDs. We'll get to the figures, and then one one thing I was shocked to find online, and I was I was stoked. Teresa didn't give, really give two fucks about it, but that is nothing new for anything that I find of uh, interest. Oh, uh, we got the Ed Sheeran Deluxe Edition. Big fan of his. Again, remember my musical tastes. They aren't exactly one genre. I'm all over the place. And this is his first CD with the A-Team. His new CD, I listen to that quite often. I enjoy that. So I got that from, I think, uh, China. So... Excited to get it here, and it got here quick. Jason, Big Fish, you might like this. I got one of these, and I think I gave it to a friend for uh, my Christmas gift, which he was stoked about. He's like, I can't believe you found this. And it's basically for one song. And it's got Take Me Out to the Ball Game by... Their former broadcaster, who everybody knows them for, but... Songs and live calls that rock Wrigley. Cubs greatest hits. Hopefully, at some point, this fucker's got a... God, suck. This camera's gonna get thrown, thrown far... There's no need, no reason it shouldn't be focusing. Anyway, it's got Go Sammy, Sammy Sosa home run montage. Uh, finally next year, by the Ides of March. A little grace, Mark Grace hits five homers in seven games. What I like about you, Romantics. Beck gets number 50, September 26, 98 versus Astros. The reason I got it, Go Cubs Go by Steve Goodman. Uh, Carrie mows him down, May 6th of 98. Dance to the Music by Sly and the Family Stone. Cubs to the Playoffs, September 28th, 98 versus the Giants. Take Me Out to the Ball Game by Harry Carey. And Sosa Day, Sammy Sosa Day Excitement. So, they got for six, seven bucks, which is better than the $17, $16.99 on there. So. I am a Cubs fan, whereas a lot of people are Braves fans. As I, I like the Braves, but I was more Cubs because of WGN. WGN had Bozo and WGN, but WGN didn't have what TBS had was Saturday Night Wrestling. But Saturday Night Wrestling a lot of the time was uh, canceled out by uh, Braves baseball being on. And that's why I like the Hawks. Dominique, Kevin Willis, John Concat. Mo Cheeks, Doc Rivers, Spud Webb, because they're on TBS. So, then I got this, I was going after a card the guy had, I put a bid on this, and I won this, and I lost the card. The card was, I think, for somebody else too, so. <coughs> oh, we had a birthday party for a family friend this afternoon, they have a cat, and I'm still reeling. I'm gonna have to take off this shirt pretty quick because I'm just. Uh, kill the Scream Queen. Doctor. It's from 08, so. But for a buck, I figured. 
may as well try. I heard this was a good movie. Co-worker of mine that likes mystery science, that likes horror movies. I said watch this, so I bought it. So I could watch it. It's on IFC. Dead Snow, it's about some Nazi zombies. Two disc edition. And Dead Snow 2, the steel book. But it's all in uh, German. So I'm hoping it plays over here because I think it's from. I think it's from Holland. So. Cinematic Titanic. Could have got this cheaper, but very well. Get it now. Oozing skull. Danny, your favorite teammates. And this just came out. 33. With. Daddy O. Earth vs. Spider, Teenage Crime Wave, and Agent for Harm, H A R M. Brand new. We got for 33. <laughs> then, the trip. Which I might, I have to show you that too. Oh, last week I went down to. Wilmer instead of going to Bemidji and watch WWE Ho Show. Yay me. Uh, the only good part about it was able to stop at Wally World and Forest Lake, which those of you in Minnesota know it's uh, just north. North of the Twin Cities, Minneapolis region. Uh, stopped at Wally World there, a storm came through, lucky us, and drove for about an hour and a half through some pretty wicked weather, uh, but is able to find at the Target and the Walmart three total figures that I didn't have in that. One I knew was coming out, I think, because of Micah, the stomach, I think he had told me about it, and I knew, I think I knew the sting was out. I did not know this first guy had a t-shirt one, a superstar entrance one, uh, Mr. Bo Dallas, and all you have to do is believe. So one I found, the O had a big black spot in there. Wouldn't mind finding a Hogan. I saw the Kofi and I saw the Barrett. But I. Kofi, if it was a New Day one, I'll, I'll jump on that. So here's a Sting one. Found that Target it was just by itself in them. It wasn't even by the wrestling figures. The defining moments. I think I've got a Razor Ramon. I'd like to find the Scott Hall one. Hopefully, can pause and read it. I wish they had a regular sting, though, too. The California Bleach Blonde, and this one I was fucking just going nuts for. <laughs> The one I thought Micah had mentioned to me about. R.I.P. John Tenta. Earthquake. With uh, the snake. If anybody remembers, he did the earthquake splash to Damien. I can do. I can't do my. He did it to Damien, and that set up the feud with uh, Jake. 
One of the one of the greatest feuds that not many people I don't think remember. Not in terms of wrestling action, but just how they set it up. I mean, he squished the snake, and oh god, I remember Heenan going nuts, healing up on everything, and then uh, uh <laughs> Monsoon just <coughs> flipping his gourd over it. So, and this is awesome because there's nobody else I care about. Harper, I've already got an elite. Los Matadores, I don't give a shit about. Triple H and Randy Orton, I don't give a shit about. Where the fuck's the Dino Bravo elite? You want money? There's more money, WWE. You want Flair? Or not Flair. Rude? Hennig? You want them? Get them in this shit. I gotta get the old ones, though, too. The ones from, like... Yeah, he didn't get all of it botched mania style. So there's those. This will be the last acquisition. And now I got some pictures to show. I've been looking for this for quite a number of years. By quite a number, I mean about 8 to 10. I should have had somebody down there buy me one. I could have just paid them, but. I didn't think in 1999 about the yearbook. I could have had people sign it then, too. I went to Superior... I went to Patterson Elementary from... in 5th and 6th grade, and then I went to Central Middle School in 7th grade. Those schools no longer are on the map because they've been demolished. <coughs> Central had a huge, long history. I mean, it was around... 30s, maybe? I don't know if it's around before that, but... <clears throat> Patterson, I'd have to look up. I have no idea. But I imagine to my surprise, I knew Central was getting torn down. I knew that. It was still odds not seeing it there. <clears throat> and I lived on Lambourne Avenue. Again, if anybody's familiar with Superior, great. If you're not, I don't even know how. It, here's the main, I want to say, Belknap. There's a stoplight. We're going this way. Right here would be where Central is. Right here would be where the milk bar, and the milk house. There was a gas station. We buy cards at fireworks. Across the street was another gas station, and uh, across from where Central was, there was a church, I think Catholic church. So, turn down this road. Here's our house, 1920 Lambourne Avenue. Two more blocks is 21st Avenue. 21st or 22nd. Right on that corner, looking in that direction, is uh, Patterson. I came in from 21st, past the McDonald's and all that shit. Stopped at the stop sign. I turned right because I was set in such shock that I didn't see my elementary school. I couldn't believe it. There's nothing, there's houses there. Or like prefab split level houses there's about 10 15 of them and where it was a couple blocks i just i couldn't believe it so this would be my senior yearbook if i would have continued on in superior wisconsin with all the people well not all because it's two two high school or two middle schools east and central had merged you can see and again this is where my nostalgia usually gets the best of me. A lot of people I had on Facebook. This cat graduated up in, or who would have graduated in Ely. He had the exact same. He was, I think, 9 through 11. And then he moved down to Superior. I don't know why his fucking camera's not focusing. I'm gonna kill it. Adam Gam. Because his dad was like, I don't know if the postmaster or not, but... Just seeing these faces again. Friends. Friends I haven't talked to in forever. Seen like my brother's grade. This cat right here. He's got like a DX shirt. So I was like, I don't I didn't know him. He must have been over at East, so but just to have this. And again, it's nothing more than nostalgia. Just to look through it. I didn't know any of the teachers, obviously. But uh Just to have that, something that I'm very fond of. 
I know I probably went down the wrong path in Superior, but... It's neither here nor there. I don't see if I can get up without dislocating my fucking thigh. Oh, hip region, holy Christ. Got these. Because my shoes, I stepped in some goo at work. They're used, but they're nice. Shocks. That's at work. That's all I can wear that make my feet not destroy my rest of my body. And it's got the Velcro. Jermaine O'Neal, I think that is. I like Jermaine O'Neal. So. Storm Club we saw. I was compelled enough to take a picture on the side of the road. We went down to the cities. Matt Larry the Ass Henning, Kurt Henning's dad. Turn this down for a minute. Uh huh. I look weird. Cause you're not smiling. I don't want to smile. Neither did I. That's an announcer, Micah. You might not recognize him. Uh, that was the guy who was asked to read the Jesus stuff. The you hate Jesus, right? No, I didn't say that. It's not as fanatical as your mother. This is uh, the Robbinsdale Mayor. This guy was on Care 11, Tim McTiff. Ooh. This is John Garelko. Uh, he coached Vern Gagne and all them cats in high school in Robbinsdale. Coached at Augsburg, I think. Henning, after he hugged him. Some of you might not remember this guy. I know. Yeah, I know. You don't need to talk. Greg Gagne, that's Vern's son, and now here's Larry and one of his sons, who did the, most of the talking with well, the introduction. Again, these pictures are a lot clearer without the camera being stupid. Here's some of his grandkids. I don't believe any of Kurt's. That's a good picture there, I like that. And there's Naomi and I and Greg Gagne. Part of the High Flyers with Jumpin' Jim Brunzel. And that's that. So, hope you enjoyed. Take her easy, YouTube. If she's easy. Bing bang. Take your toy. Take your toy. It's a puppet.